In this third video on polylines and sketches, we're going to take a look at this last section here. And it's got some unusual tools. And the first one we're going to look at is the sketch fillet. And the way the fillet works, it's like rounding corners. Um, so we'll, we'll take a look at the staircase example that we had earlier. I'm going to click on sketch fillet. And then as I hover over an object, I can click on a side and then click on another side. And you'll notice that as I do that, it, it starts to create the basis of a, of a fillet. And if I click on it, it gives me the option to change the angle of the fillet. It's using the radius that you see down at the bottom. Right now it's 2.5. And you can manually change that to whatever you like. I'm going to leave it for 2.5 for now. So I can come back up to the fillet tool. And I can click on a side click on another side, and repeat the process. Okay, And that way you can get rounded objects. This one happens to be a 1.25 fillet, and this one is a 2.50 fillet. Okay, so that's the fillet tool. The next tool is called trimming. And the way trim works is you click on the trim tool, and then as you hover over an object, you can decide which part of a shape you would like trim. So if I click on this area, it actually takes that off of my drawing. I can trim there as well. That's very simple, just simple trim. Now, I noticed, though, when, when uh, working with these, uh, these, these sketches, that even if I were to create a new sketch and then click on a side, I can click on a side and hit the delete key and get the same result. So I click on a side and click the delete key and I'm not even using that trim properly. So that's just something to keep in mind. It does the same thing, it seems, uh, as the trim tool. Okay, and the next tool along the line is the extend tool. And the way the extend tool works is you click on the tool itself then you click on a shape and you'll notice that uh, it will interpret for you what you would like to extend. And so um, if I come over here, it's wanting to extend that up one unit. If I come over here, it looks like it's wanting to extend that shape across to close the rectangle. And so I'm going to do that. And it does that for you. So whenever you're wanting to close shapes, you can use the extend tool for that purpose. The next tool is the offset tool. And if I were to take uh, the offset tool and click on a shape, the offset allows you to extend the shape outward by as many uh, units as you want to. Okay, so again, taking that same shape and just extending it outwards from center. And the last tool that is there is called the projection tool. And I'm going to save that for a video by itself because the project tool is very different. And uh, it's, we're going to be looking at an object in 3D in order to see this. That's all for now.